everyone and welcome to the channel. My name's Victoria. I'm back with another pick a card tarot reading. Today's tarot reading is going to be who will I marry? Okay, so today we'll be using my pendulum with my chakra crystal and we'll be getting um, the personality of your um, person that you will marry, their star sign, even how long you'll have to wait and even we might be able to pinpoint which day you will meet your person, okay? But I'll be doing a pendulum reading as an extra at the end of each of your tarot card piles. Before I ask you to pick your numbers, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's subscribing to my channel right now. And I'm really, really grateful. And if you haven't done so far, please do and turn on the notification bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that I upload. I'm going to call this reading my birthday reading because it was my birthday yesterday. And as you can see, I, um, I have had new tarot cards and a pendulum and a crystal from a family member and I'm really grateful I did want one and he just gifted it me as a lovely surprise so I'll be using these on the channel from now on I really feel connected to this tarot deck the minute I saw it I said yes and I've got that that good feeling I don't always connect with every tarot deck that I see or have and sometimes I put them away and wait for it to connect but I find this one is really strong with energies and also I connect to my crystal and my pendulum board so we'll see what we come up with with your readings today it's going forward so what I'd like you to do right now is just try and relax your body and I'd also like you to put your feet flat on the floor for the pendulum reading okay so we can get your energies just flowing through me I have my feet on the floor flat on the floor at the minute so those energies can flow through you while you choose your number so you get we can get a good um connection energetically okay so I just ask you to just breathe in and close your eyes and when you breathe out please pick either pile one or pile two or pile three and see what spirit wants to say about who you will be marrying today I'll give you a few moments to do that now. Hello, and welcome back to those of you chosen pile one in this tarot reading today. So before we do your pendulum reading, which I'm really excited about, I'm just trying to tune into the energies of the person that you will be marrying today. Okay, marrying in the future, okay? And whether you're with them or not, or whether you're going to marry the person you're with, or whether you haven't met anybody yet that may be your soulmate. So we'll just get into those energies and just bear in mind that anything that I say will be um, for a general audience. So just take those little bits that may resonate with you. Okay. And also, um, before we start your reading, just a quick word, I'm now doing personal tarot card readings for those of you who would like one, either continuation of this one, or if you would like anything spiritually or anything you'd help with relationships, career, finance, family, um, marriage, anything like that. Usually relationships are popular. If you would like a pendulum reading with your tarot reading, please email down below and the links to book all of that will be in the description box straight below this video. Right, let's have a look at your tarot cards to the person you'll be reading. We have the King of Cups. We've seen this beautiful deck with the gold writing and the I just love it so much. We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Fool. Okay. Okay. The personality of the person that you'll be um, marrying in the future or even the person you're with right now. We have the King of Cups energy here. Okay. So with the King of Cups, this person is going to make a fantastic father or mother. So you're going to be a fantastic parent when you have children. Also, they're going to be very tolerant. So they're very patient and quite laid back. They have a good sense of empathy. So if you are upset or there's a, there's an emotional situation going on, this person is person that you will be marrying will be very able to in, tune in with their with their um, emotions. So they get um, so they can help and that help out. They're very good at helping emotionally. Um, with difficult situations or just very in tune almost like 
They know what you're thinking emotionally. So if you're upset one day, they're going to know exactly, you know, how to comfort you. Um, they have a good understanding of what you'll need, what you'll need in a relationship, what you need in your life. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords energy here. Now, this could be you, but it could be your person with the Queen of Swords energy. This person will have, will be quite independent and maybe even have their own good job or income. Okay. Already they'll be coming to you with a, a good job. Um, but I don't think that matters with your person. I think they, they work more on an empathetic kind of level. They also, they like total honesty. They will want total honesty. So, you, you know, when you, <laughs> when you have, you know, if I don't think your person is going to tolerate lies. I think they will respect you more if even little white lies, they'll prefer it if you just tell them the truth. OK, I think they can handle the truth if you have anything to say in your marriage or in your relationship or your connection. They're also quite independent. OK, while they're in empathetic and enjoy being part of a marriage or relationship, they're going to have their own, maybe their own career and their own interests. So maybe the person would have their own hobbies that they like to do maybe outside of the relationship. Not that it means they're not happy with you. They just like that little bit of independence and freedom also. And in relationships, I think that's really healthy anyway. Um, a good balance of um, sort of yin and yang. And have you noticed you've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords here? Look at that. So while this person is, the King of Cups is always like... <sighs> the bringer of love, the ultimate bringer of love. So they have this, they're going to have this amazing loving union, loving connection. Okay. Queen of Swords is always a little bit more feisty so that your person could be very romantic where you, well, you yourself might not be as romantic. Okay. But they're going to smother you with this love. The fool always death, um, is something taking a chance on love and wanting it and traveling towards it this your person might not be from the same country as you or even the same um background as you with the full energy okay it's almost like it's something new it also indicates travel okay so you might be traveling to them they might be traveling to you um they may be born in different country or you might be born in different countries to them they might be a different nationality different background in life okay that makes sense to you. Now, I think we should do your pendulum reading to see what spirit comes up with. Let's put those aside. Right, so we shall do now a pendulum read. This is my pendulum board, and I do have my crystal here, my beautiful chakra crystal. Okay, and we will ask spirit the star sign of your person to start off with. Okay, let's do this then. I hope you can see this clearly and I'll put the pendulum in the center and I will keep it as still as I can see which star sign your person may be my hands shaking no it's not oh it's already moving wow so it points more towards one than the other okay what I'm feeling with this energy is your person possibly could be a Scorpio it's swinging quite sharply towards a Scorpio okay so they could have a Scorpio Sun moon or rising okay oh um, wow it's actually off the board did you see okay so just bear that in mind so that maybe is the star sign of your person now see we've got the days of the week here this could be the day that you meet your person okay so we'll put this in the center again and just try and get you pick up your energies just keep an eye on the crystal for me and gone i will just keep that as still as i can to try and get it right it's completely still so it's moving and it's moving towards i would say so far a friday quite strongly let's just keep that going a little bit more i can also feel the pull of the pendulum going towards friday okay very strongly going towards Friday now so your person 
possibly could be Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising and you may meet them on a Friday, okay? And let's see with the numbers here how long you have to wait, okay? I hope it's not too long. <laughs> how many years or when or how? Let me just keep this still first. Ooh, no, I moved it. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, it's going in a circle. I'll just let it find its ground because it's going in a circle. It seems to be going one way and then starting to go another. As you can see, it's going to. I think it's going to swing quite sharply now i thought it was going to be nine and it doesn't look like it's going towards nine it's going towards two you see that it's going sharply towards two so i would say between two months and two years you've been meeting this person because i very doubt that it will be two days so we have to go by common sense so according to the pendulum your person could be a scorpio sun moon or rising what did we say you meet them on a friday and you may meet them within two years okay so check out their astrology birth date you know they may not be scorpio sun they could be scorpio moon somewhere scorpio will be featured quite heavily in the astrology chart okay that's the reading i have for those of you who have chosen pile one today in this tarot pendulum who will i marry reading i hope you enjoyed that and um if you were drawn to another number read that too that's perfectly fine because you can be drawn to more than one number i should have said that at the beginning um i hope you enjoyed the reading please check back with me for more tarot pendulum readings and tarot readings uh, check out the playlists i have quite a few videos on there now you may need help or guidance with um please share or like or drop a comment in the box below to let me know um, if any of this resonated with you. I'm always interested to read and um, to know what resonated with my audience. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And uh, if you would like a, tar a personal tarot card reading, um, the links to book will be directly below this video and you can ask me anything. Okay. And I shall see you all really, really soon with another pick a card reading. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome back to those of you who've chosen pile two today in this Who Will I Marry? Tarot card and pendulum reading. Okay, so before we start, just a quick word. If you'd ever like a personal tarot card reading with me, um, you can book through SD. I have a shop on there or the links to book. You can book through email and pay through PayPal. Okay, so the, those links will be in the description box down below. Just a quick word to say that before I do your Who Will I Marry reading. I will do the personality of your person through the tarot cards, okay? And then with the pendulum over here and my crystal chakra pendulum, we'll get the, try and get the star sign, um, some moon rising or Venus, uh, the day you may meet your person and how long, okay? You have to wait years months we'll see what the spirit comes up with with those of you chosen pile two let's have see your reading today we have the nine of swords we have the death card in reverse don't panic i've not seen these cards so there is new to and we have the eight of wands right okay we have two cards in reverse two the right way up with your person okay what I sense with your person right now with this tarot reading, okay, is that the person that's traveling towards you in your future life probably doesn't, you haven't met them at all yet, okay? So I don't feel psychically that they are connected to you out of coming to your atmosphere. So this person to you, I believe, will be a complete and utter stranger who's at the minute may have come out of a not very nice relationship or not very nice connection okay when you do meet this person i believe that your souls will with this tarot with these energies here your souls will instantly connect and i get the feeling with this spread of cards that they're waiting for someone to love 
okay so I think your person has been waiting a very long time for somebody who will really love them I do feel like feel like with this spread also this could be something that's come out of heartbreak so they could be broken-hearted right now and um, you'll be coming into the, these energies they may be um, someone has broken their heart in the past yeah or recently as well because you see these nine of swords here it's a little bit of more of a, a, a deeper energy okay a little bit more where they seem to be like they look like they're crying yeah so what I sense with this card is that it'll be love after heartbreak with your person okay I don't think they'll be rebounding I do think it'll be love after heartbreak okay with the nine of swords energy always tells me this person um, is quite sad at the minute okay your person so this is how your person this is how you two are going to meet so I do believe your person's been in maybe a long-term relationship or even a marriage where it did it, it ended up in divorce okay and you'll be probably their second wife or second love but you see if things don't work the first time as my mum used to say you need to try again okay but not everything is um the way it looks with people okay i think they're just waiting for somebody new to come in their life you do the, the death card is in reverse here okay so this is the like the person is waiting like they know there's somebody out there for them that's better than what they've had so they're just waiting for the love to come in okay there's this sense with me with that when i saw the spread of them waiting to fall in love maybe they've never been in love your person um, and they don't know what it feels like and you're going to bring them that that beautiful loving energy okay the death card in reverse is about being stuck okay so your person at the minute might be in an unhappy relationship and want to get out or they may have already split up with them or they could be divorced okay we have the eight of wands in reverse remember i do read reversals okay i'm a tarot reader that will read reversals you don't some tarot readers don't read reversals but i do because there's always a message that tarot and spirit wants to say to the people that pick the number so i think it's really important and i always promised that i would be really true to myself and to you the audience on the channel that i wouldn't um make stuff up or modi modi what do you call that word modi call anything so when tarot has got a specific message they've got a specific message if i don't deliver the truthful message tarot <laughs> cards will actually get angry so <laughs> they actually do get angry with with the um and they stop working so i have to turn it on another tarot deck or something like that we have the eight of wands in reverse also i still feel like the person is waiting and they're quite frustration frustrate I can't even say the word. They're quite frustrated. They haven't met anybody that they love. Okay. Again, they could be um, travel issues with your person. Okay. It could be that the person may have had an injury where they found it hard to walk, um, broken a leg, or anything like that. So I see that there's movement issues with your person. So either they might be living abroad or a different town, city, and they might find that maybe their past relationships haven't worked because they've been in love with someone from another country another culture and it hasn't worked out i think i should pick another card for this reading to be honest because i think it needs a little bit clarifying let's see if something falls out because it's quite important and people want to know who they marry you know it's quite exciting it's quite something that tarot can give you quite quite a good clue up there you go the knight of cups that's a bit better isn't it so your person is heartbroken what oh not my camera because i got excited but what they really really want is love okay they're willing to give you love if you love them back in return i do feel like it'll be love after heartbreak with them okay so it could be finding you after they've had a terrible divorce or a terrible relationship sorry i had to cough it's very hot here in the uk at the minute it's 36 degrees i'm boiling <laughs> right so this is this nice beautiful knight of cups energy here so they're going to bring you this love they want this love back in return 
I felt like I had to have another card then. So what they're going to be is, I feel like with your person, they, they have the capacity for great love. They're almost going to be like a Prince Charming or a Princess Charming where they come towards you with, with an offer. Okay, so once they're yours, they're yours. There's no going back because they, they will see that there's beautiful people, beautiful love, beautiful connections out there and all that will sort of go away. Okay, should we do your pendulum reading? Let's have a look which star sign your person's going to be today. So my board. So what is the star sign of the people, the possible star sign of the people that have chosen pile two today? Uh, keep my pendulum still. Let's give it a minute to let the energies go through. Give it a few minutes. I feel the pull actually of the pendulum going towards Pisces. Even though it looks like it's going towards Virgo and Libra, I feel the absolute pull going this way. Because I can actually feel the pendulum being pulled. Some of which you can't see on camera. Yep, Pisces. I, it's an absolute pull towards Pisces. Okay? So it's Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising. It's swinging quite harsh. Quite harsh, quite strongly. I feel the pull going this way and not that way. Okay, something you can't see. Okay, I moved my hand then. So, for those of you who want to know the star sign of your possible future love, who you might marry, uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Virgo, they could just have a lot of Pisces in their chart. Okay, now, what day will you meet your person? Okay, just keep an eye on the days on the board. Okay, it's starting to move. I'm trying to keep as still as I can to get the best answers for you all. I can actually feel the pull at the minute going towards the Sunday. I just let me see. Yeah. I can feel the pendulum as actually pulling towards the Sunday quite strongly. Okay. So you can't see the pull, unfortunately, but I can feel the pendulum moving towards a Sunday. So you may possibly meet your person on a Sunday. And also, which and when, how long will you have to wait? So keep an eye on the numbers more towards the bottom of the camera, bottom of the screen. Okay. It's already starting to move quite, it's already going for it. So how long will your person have to wait, please? It's going quite sharply to four. Okay, between three and a half and four. I would say, actually, it's going towards a three, isn't it? More three, okay? So it's sort of saying between three and four years, okay? Or three or four months, or three or four days, but I don't think it'll be three or four days. You have to use common sense. So I feel like your person will be Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or have a lot of Pisces planets, and you'll be meeting them on a possible Sunday, and you will also be meeting them within three to four years, which would make sense with your tarot reading. This person's just coming out of something that's quite um, maybe a divorce or. That would make sense to give them some time to heal. Okay, if you enjoyed that reading or you felt drawn to another number, please um, check that other number out as well because those messages could be for you also. Please um, click the like button if you like the video. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, share the video to anyone, a friend, relative who'd like a reading like this or like to see this one. It's quite um, interesting, isn't it? It's quite exciting when it can actually pinpoint who you may marry or or it can answer other questions. I'll be back with the pendulum again to do another reading. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you liked the reading um, or and turn on the notification bell if you do, and then you'll be noti you should be notified of any videos when I upload. Also, don't forget, if you'd like a personal tarot card reading personally with me, because I do do them, uh, myself and more details or any subject you may need help with relationships career finances 
anything tarot i will give you some guidance there the links to book that will be in the description box straight below this video okay so i shall see you all really soon with another reading and look after yourselves and bye bye for now bye bye hello and welcome back to those of you who've picked pile three today in this pick a card reading before we do your tarot cards, just a quick word, I am now doing personal tarot readings for those of you who would like a tarot reading, a personal highly detailed tarot reading from me. Um, the links to book that on any subject you like, relationships, career, money, house moves, weddings, who you're going to fall in love with, these will all be personalised, okay? So you can book that through ST, where I have a shop, or you can uh, book it through PayPal if you don't want to sign up for ST. And you can, the links to book will be right below this video. Okay, so check that out after your reading. Let's have a look at your tarot cards. We have the King of Wands in reverse. The King of Swords. That's interesting. And the Seven of Cups. We're just trying to, I'm just trying to tune into your person's energies and the circumstances of um, maybe how you meet them or what's going on with them right now. Okay. It's interesting you've got two kings there, one in reverse, one the right way up. Okay, we have the king of wands in reverse, okay. At the minute, your person is not ready for commitment, okay. That's what it's saying when it's reversed. Not yet, anyway. Stick with it, don't turn off because I've got more to say. There's more cards in this reading, remember. Um, don't get put off with the king of wands is always somebody that's a little bit slow to the occasion yeah so this person may be older in some cases than a little bit older than you never been married before maybe for some of them they now has girlfriend before a serious relationship but i do sense with the seven of cups at the end this person could be having a lot of do you know what i mean by a lot of girlfriends boyfriends in the past little relationships that meant nothing to this person yeah so they could have just been a lot of flirting but they didn't put their heart anywhere okay remember this is a marriage love reading okay so this is what's coming out with this reading for you number three this person has been quite flirty in the past um i was fine with people who are, have lots and lots of i call them little girlfriends or little boyfriends they're always never serious and don't want to settle down that's why the relationships change so much do you ever find that that's what I find in life, okay? And someone of my age would know that. <laughs> okay, with the King of Wands energy, it's saying that this person is not ready for commitment just yet because you haven't met them yet. But right, lying right next to your person is the King of Swords. Okay, with the King of Swords energy here, <laughs> when this person meets you, they're going to set their eyes on you, yeah? And they, they, they're going to know what they want okay so they're, this, they're, they're going to be very quick everything for your relationship is going to happen really quickly so this they're going to come at you quickly they're going to want a commitment quickly they're going to decide what they want and they're going to come for you okay so they only have to clap eyes on you or just meet your eyes and i think they'll know what they want so this might be a love at first sight connection okay the king of swords is a powerful energy when it's that way around because it's somebody who knows what they're going to have and they're going to get what they want so there's no saying no to this person it's also somebody who's quite powerful um powerful maybe publicly as well so this person could be well known in the field of work that they do on they're respected for it okay they could be um I was going to say famous, but they could be just famous in the field of their own life. They're well known. Okay. They have maybe a lot of friends, a lot of family. Uh, they have great admirers because they are just go getters deep down. This is why I think they're just very flirty. Maybe their women are attracted to them, but they're just waiting for that soulmate to come along. Or maybe they've not found that soulmate yet, which is what I suspect of this reading here. With the Seven of Cups energy. When the Seven of Cups comes out, this is why I said they could be flirty. Okay, they've never, I don't feel like your person's ever committed to anybody properly yet. Okay, so there could be a lot of flirting around with your person, like I said. Uh, they've had too many girls flinging themselves out. Girls, boys, flinging, they could be actually very physically attractive as well. So, 
while they could be flirting around and maybe dating a lot of people, I don't think they've ever fallen in love, properly in love with anybody yet. And this is a marriage reading, remember, I'm doing. That's what the energies are. So this is the sort of person that may come into your life, okay? So that rings a bell. Um, please let me know in the description box down below if you're already with someone like that, already met them. That would be interesting. I don't feel like they want to settle down, but when they do, they really will settle down. Okay? Let's have a look at the um, pendulum and what spirits want to tell you about... Um, possibly their star sign who your person will be okay so what is this person's star sign who number threes are going to marry I'm trying to keep the pendulum as still as I can with spinning let's just wait for it to the energies to move okay I like it that it was usually it will swing quite strongly At the minute it's just going round and round okay wait for the swing I can feel it being pulled in all directions. What did I say about the reading? That this person is not ready yet. It's being pulled. Just give it a minute. This person's been all over the place, according to spirit. Right, it's being pulled towards Leo. I can actually feel the pull towards Leo. You might say, well, that looks like Aquarius. But I can see that my, ha my feeling is that the spirit's pulling it towards Leo. So your person could have Leo's son moon um rising or venus okay or they could have a lot of leo planets it makes a lot of sense because leos are quite um i was gonna say arrogant i'm a leo so i should know and they they can be quite attractive to the opposite sex with um because they're quite happy go lucky people um they come across as strong and masculine as well but really we all know we're just big babies as leos Right, now let's have a look at um, the day you may meet your person, okay? So keep an eye on the days on the um, pendulum wheel. Just to try and get the energies of the day you could possibly meet your person. Keep spinning. Do you never have the spin for the other two readings? Just wait for the energies to go towards it. Oh, it's moving. I'm just trying to feel the pull which way... Because you might say it's going one way, but I can actually feel the pendulum being pulled. And the minute's going round again. Let it have a think. Spirit is trying to pinpoint your day for you. A Thursday. It's pulling towards Thursday, okay? The pull for me is towards the Thursday. And it's going round. Okay. It's going round again. It's making its mind up to Thursday. Okay? Yep. Yeah, I can actually feel the pull of the the actual crystal being pulled towards a thursday so you'll meet them on a thursday let's get how long you'll have to wait keep your eye on the numbers on the board one to zero spirit how long will number three have to wait to meet their person that they will marry okay Let me know, spirit, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going towards zero and one. I can actually feel the pull towards zero and one. Okay, what did I say with the the um the swords energy? Zero and one. This person is a what did I say it was? The king of swords. That is absolutely spot on with the reading because between zero and one means you're going to meet them quite quickly okay so i think this could be a love at first sight so this person is fast 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 whatever happens with this person you you know you may be married within a few months this is how they like to live their lives okay so once they meet you they meet you and they're going to want what they want which between zero and one so within the next year okay you may already be with them with your soulmate for a lot of you because it's zero so you've already met them or within a year okay within 12 months mm, interesting for those of you who've chosen pile three today that was interesting if you liked that reading please subscribe to the channel 
and share the video okay to those of you who may think you know look at this um, lady this is what she said who I'm gonna marry you know I used to love this stuff when I was young and there was no YouTube in those days I would have loved it okay and um, like and subscribe please to my channel if you like what I do please stay tuned for more readings like this um, pick a card I'll be using the pendulum I'll be using the charms um, just keep an eye out on the different readings I have please check out the other videos on the playlist I do have quite a few there and a lot of them are timeless okay if you need any extra help with them um, um, tarot and you can also book a private reading with me and the links to book will be straight below this video in the description box so I think that's it and I shall see you all really really soon with another pick a card reading and bye bye for now see you all soon bye bye